ghoulish morning ASD. Welcome to a special Halloween edition of Falcon Feed. I'm Jackson. And I'm Kenza. And in today's show, we'll check out the Harry Potter pursuit. Meet the real Mr. Stone. And get some trick-or-treat tips and find out what costumes are popular at ASD. Plus, sports with k and other news you can use. The, the Falcon, Falcon Feed, Feed starts, starts now. now. Today's top story is the world of Harry Potter. Miss Davis runs the pursuit. Very popular. Producers Rima Coco break the spell. Two weeks ago, we introduced you to the personal side of Mr. Cook. Today in our teacher feature, we go beyond the classroom with Mr. Stone. Producer Kayan does the math. So, how long have you been a teacher here at ASD? So this is the start of my seventh year of teaching at ASD. Tell us about when you were in school. My school was really different than this one. I went to a really small school. school my high school graduating class, so like all the people in my year was like 23 people. What's the most adventurous thing you've done? A couple years ago, I went with a few of the other teachers to a village in Nepal, and we helped build a house for a family there that wow. didn't have the resources and the capability to build it themselves. So we stayed up in tents on this mountain, <laughs> And we like hauled rocks up a hill <laughs> and dug trenches and, and worked together to, to, to build a house in kind of the middle of rural Nepal, which was pretty, pretty different than anything else I'd done, but also really neat and really rewarding. How do you like to teach? Because we, a lot of people notice that you have a different style of teaching. The most important thing I try to do when I teach is to create an environment where all my students feel um, valued and respected and safe to take risks and contribute their ideas and make mistakes. I think that's a really important part of learning. Was there any other moments in your life that you had to overcome or that you had or that was like hard for you? Yeah, so one of the big challenges I guess in, in my growing up was when I was around the age that you guys are now, my parents got divorced and that was really tough for me at the time because it was such a big change and I, I remember not really knowing how to deal with it or how to talk about it. And one thing that really helped me was finding somebody that I could talk to. So in, in, in my case, it was my grandmother. I think the message, the thing that I learned from that and that I would give as advice to you guys as well is that whenever you're going through something that's challenging and difficult that you don't have to go through things alone and that there are people out there that care about you, that are there to support you and listen and talk to. Would you consider that one of like the biggest life lessons you've learned? I would, and I think that's something I try and pass on to my students, is that there are people here to support you, your teachers, your friends, your family, and when you're going through something tough, you don't have to go through it alone. Thank you for today, and thank you for giving us the time to talk to you. And 
I really do hope that kids and students learn from you. Yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. Jackson, are you trick-or-treating tonight? Of course. Isn't everybody? And since you're joining me, here are some trick-or-treat tips from the American Association of Pediatrics. Always stay in groups. Use reflective tape on your costume and trick-or-treat bags. Carry a cell phone for quick communication. Stay on well-lit streets and always use the sidewalk. What are you dressing up as, Jackson? No, I'm Batman. Are you a uh, Catwoman? What about you? Reem, our woman on campus, finds out what you guys are wearing. Okay. So what are you guys going to be dressing up as for Halloween? We're going to be creepy dolls for Halloween. And like Annabelle twins. Okay. I'm dressing up as an M&M with two of my friends. I'm going to be dressing up as Catwoman. I'm going to be dressing up as Wonder Woman. I'm going to be McDonald's! Uh, for Halloween, I'm dressing up as an inflatable alien carrying me. It's time for Falcon Sports with Kayan and Lucas. Hey guys, we're reaching the end of our fall season and what's the latest? Thanks guys. In Volleyball Boys, the boys volleyball team have went to have traveled to Abu Dhabi for the game against the Vipers. They came up short, but they are now getting ready and preparing for our EAC. On the girls side, led by captains Tia Boger and Jude Barakaji, the Day Falcons dominated early play but weren't able to finish strong. The seven game win streak was snapped. Like the boys, the girls had a busy week preparing for, e for tomorrow's final contest, the ESA. Good luck, ladies. I got a chance to talk to a captain on the team, Norm Uspa. Check it out. Hi, so you're the captain of the team. How does that feel? It's nice because I get to like, lead them and coach them a little bit. So, is it true you guys are undefeated? Yeah, we practiced really hard, so at this point in the season, we're undefeated so far. Is the season going good so far? Mm hmm. We've had a couple iffy games, so we're playing pretty good. <laughs> so, are you guys excited for EAC, and do you guys think you're going to win? Yeah, I think EAC is going to be fun because we're going to have obviously the best teams, and I'm pretty sure we're going to win. I hope so. All right, now, we're so we heard that you tore your ACL and your MCL. How did that feel? Um, it kind of sucked because I couldn't play volleyball, and volleyball is like really important to me. So it's kind of hard watching the team play, but it's fun because I get to go and like I'm still there at practices, still there at games, and like I coach a little bit as well. I help Mr. Cook out, so it's really fun. Very, very touching words. <laughs> now, we you we we hope you know that all the Falcons are cheering you on for a speedy recovery. Hands down, the swimmer was with the most enthusiasm was Rita who was consistently singing, dancing, or cheering for her teammates. Other strong swimmers include Richie, Leash, Sienna, and Maya. Tomorrow, our swimmers ended a fantastic season at, a at e EAS. Their coach comment, not only is this team fast, they are kind, supportive, and hardworking. That's it for sports. Back to you. In other news, the new Makerspace room is open for business. It's a creative place where students can build classroom projects. Next week begins a new quarter with 6th grade students starting a new elective course on their wheel. And a new round of pursuits will be starting soon. Next Monday, we are 100 days in the school. A quick milestone. That's it for today's show. As we close with the Falcon photo feed. For our crew here at Studio F, make it a great day. Bye. <laughs>